And it made us better men. It made us stronger, capable, able men that that weren't weak when life threw its blows at us. And, And we never expected life to present us with with ease. Gentlemen, what's going on? It's a great day to choose personal responsibility for our own well-being. How many of us have ever gotten to that poor, pitiful me mindset where we're standing there, lying there, screaming at the heavens, why? Why me? Why do I have to be in this situation? Why is life slapping me in the face? And the problem with the question why and that attitude is it leaves us crippled. It it provides all these excuses for reasons why we can't take personal agency, personal responsibility to get out of that situation. It, it, It places the responsibility on external reasons. Why are all these things happening to me instead of what can I do? Seneca, the Stoic, the, the great philosopher, said that it's there's no good outside of the personal good. There's there's no external goodness that can create a man's life. The only good is the will of the individual to exert power so that he takes responsibility for his own life and creates his own good. We can't rely on other people's ideas of a good life. We can't rely on other people to provide us a good life. It's no one else's responsibility to to lead us in any any direction. And and if we think so, then then we cripple ourselves. We cripple our personal agency to rise above any situation that isn't necessarily meeting the standards or conditions of of a, a fair life. And that's where many times we get caught up in in this misconception that life is supposed to be fair, that life is supposed to be easy. Life, in essence, is a boxing match. We're sparring against the opposition, the adversary. And, And in boxing, you're going to get hit. That's the point of the game, to dodge the blows or to be able to to circumvent the blows of the op- opposition, to be able to handle those, and to be able to pick and choose when you need to swing. Whoever has more hits or whoever has the, the, the damning hit, the, the knockout punch, that's the winner of the fight. Doesn't mean that you're not going hit, to get hit. Life, in essence, can be our opposition and hit swinging some mighty blows. And, and so yesterday, what got me on this train of thought is that I'm, I'm playing... Uh, football playing catch with my son at my parents home and my nephew's there and and my nephew for lack of a better word is kind of this soft kid kind of raised to be soft kind of that mama's boy so he always kind of wants to be involved but he doesn't ever want to play with this he always wants to be the ref for the coach kind of on the sidelines and so he's out there refing, kind of being the ref and me and my son are playing catch and 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 my son drops a ball or, or off looking for the ball and so I turn to my nephew and I'm talking to him and out of nowhere this walnut comes flying through the air man and drills my nephew right in the leg right in his thigh and he immediately looks at it and he looks at me and you can tell he's wanting to cry he's upset and you know I kind of walk towards him like hey man rub it off rub it off walk up jump up and down walk it off you're good you're good you all right you okay and he's like yeah and he's got his head down kind of that that whimper you can hear the whimpering coming up and so I turned to my son, you know, I'm trying to, get to discipline him, getting on to him. Like, what are you doing, man? Why you can't throw walnuts at people? And, and my nephew, he, he turns to me and he's kind of got that whimpering going on. He says, I don't want to play anymore. I'm going to go inside. And he kind of starts crying a little bit as, as he's going off. And so I'll go over to my son to discipline him. Man, you, you can't just throw walnuts. But it, it made me think, man. That's the very yard that I grew up in, and and I grew up with cousins all the same age. There were four of us, and man, we had rock fights, walnut fights. We played football in that yard, tackled each other, wrestled each other, pushed each other. Who's the strongest? Who's the toughest today? And it made us better men. It made us stronger, capable, able men that that weren't weak when life threw its blows at us, And, and we never expected life to present us with with ease right it's that toughness that made us tough and and made us a little stronger that that, so that when life happened when difficulties 
w- would present themselves and show their ugly face as, as the monsters under the bed will. We didn't hide. We didn't run and blame life. We didn't have this entitlement that life was supposed to be easy. We didn't look for excuses. We didn't blame other people. We didn't bl- blame the external situations. Oh, it's just life's after me or then people are after me. We didn't come up with excuses. We were taught to be tough. And sometimes you get knocked down, but you have to get back up. And that's what Seneca was saying, that we can't expect anyone else to present us with a good life. We can't expect anyone else to present us with good ideas. So the question we have to begin to ask ourselves is, what's slapping us in the face? What walnuts or rocks are are hitting us in the face? And how are we allowing that to affect us? Are we running inside and crying to daddy and whimpering away and saying, I don't want to play the game anymore? Are we rejecting the actual principles of life that, that life is difficult and in that difficulty it can teach you to become stronger? more capable man, a more well-rounded man, a man that knows what life is about? Or are we running inside with that entitlement of why me? Poor pitiful me. We live in a culture today where it becomes that, that pitiful excuse of why me? Why is this happening to me? I don't deserve this. But pity is the most deplorable, crippling attitude that one can ever adopt. It's in pity that we pull the sheets over our head and hide from the monster. It's in pity that we come up with excuses of why we can't achieve the life that we want. Rocks are going to be thrown. Walnuts are going to be thrown. That's life. Life is this sparring match with the opposition. Whatever opposition you want to call or name, there's going to be adversity. And it's going to punch you square in the face. And so the question we ask ourselves, what's hitting me in the face? And what what utility can come from that? What good can come from that? Because when we begin to adopt that attitude of I'm going to see something good in this, I'm going to uh, allow this badness to make me stronger, and we accept that harsh, severe life, we become capable, strong men. That we aren't deterred when circumstances don't aren't the perfect condition. We kind of uh, begin to even look forward to, to the, the storms of life because we know they're going to make us stronger and it's going to separate us from that, that weak crowd that runs inside and doesn't want to play the game anymore when the conditions get a little tough. And that's what Seneca was saying and the great Stoic, that that life is going to happen and it's going to punch you square in the face. And it's not anyone else's responsibility to give you a good life. It's not anyone's responsibility to present you with the perfect circumstances. Life is tough. Life is, is adversity. Life is the walnuts being thrown at you. But when we recognize where they're coming from and what they can do to enable us to be stronger and so that we can adjust, adapt, and so that we're ready for that sparring match, we're ready to juke and jive and duck so that we can land that counter punch that leaves us successful. And that's what the rock fights and and the, the walnut throwing and the wrestling matches did for me and my cousins when we were younger and enable us to, to grab a perspective that life is tough. So let's get strong so that we can adapt to that and be ready to, to, Combat the circumstances when they're not ideal conditions. I love you guys. Keep your head up on a swivel, ready for the rocks that are going to be thrown. Because believe me, they're going to be thrown. Don't let that deter you from moving on and don't let it remove you from the game. That is the game. Life throws rocks. Let's be prepared for that so that it makes us stronger. And hell, a few scars, a few bruises, it makes us a little tougher. makes us look a little rugged, a little cool. That's life, man. And the, the man with the more scars that can stand upright and say, I've overcame those. Those are the men that, that we aspire to be. Those that are the men that we admire. So a few scars are always good for, for the soul. They're always good for, for that inner imperative that calls us to be more. Guys, we'll hear from me next episode.